I just got batteries. There are two of these per box. They're 40 volts and I need them to be 24, which means I'm going to take them all apart. Yeah. Uh, it is tempting to just switch to a 36 volt system, but I want to keep all my stuff on the same volt voltage so parts are swappable between boats and houses and everything. So I need to dismantle this. And this thing is all totally encapsulated in plastic, but it looks like I can pop off the the rubbery stuff that's on the screws. I got this one here and this one here. Yeah. Yeah, that popped right off. I think I got that off without damaging anything. <sighs> Apparently these things have little kind of hooks that go into all these holes and kind of get stuck in there. All right, I've got a bunch of battery ends connected here. So they're all attached together. And another one here, 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 here. So there's six blocks. And since this is 40 volts, I'm pretty sure it needs like 12 to get up to 40 volts, which means on the other side of this, right here, there's going to be half of one of these. And then there's going to be a square that goes between here. So electricity comes in here, goes through these ones, into the other block, and then just, you know, there's a square here and there, and then half one at the end. If I want to go 24 volts, I think eight of these in series gets me to 28.8 .8, if I remember correctly which would mean let's see start over here one two three four five six seven eight so if I cut this right here then uh, my positive for 24 volts would be right there my negative no my positive is over here my positive will be right there my negative will be right there and then I can use this block to combine with another block that I take off to get another set of 24. Right. Now the question is, do I take off that other big plastic thing on the other side, or is everything going to be too floppy then? Uh, since I'm going to cut them right here, I could just cut through this plastic layer, then get this thing out, cut it at the appropriate spot, Put it all back on, then take the other side off and cut it where it needs to be cut. On the other side, I'm going to have to cut through one of these metal plates. Oh, unless I'm wrong, and on the other side of this, there's something totally different than what I'm thinking. Let's see. There's one of these tabs on each one of these plates. So there should be yeah, one at the end here, then one for the between. Yeah, it looks like there's the right number of tabs. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a half plate. All right. I'm sure enough that I'm willing to risk it. Oh, right. To confirm all this nonsense, I can take my little voltmeter here. Put this here. So from there to here, it should be about 3.2 volts. Yeah, 3.2. And then from there to there, it should be double that, six, right, 6.5. 9.8, 13.0, 16.3, 19.6, 22.8, 
and 26.1. So yeah, right there is where I'd want to cut off for the 24 volts. I guess I might as well check the rest of it to make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do. 29.4, 32.7, 35 .9, 39.2 volts across the whole thing. Okay, this gets cut right here. This isn't really doing anything, it's just a plastic layer of nothingness. But that's all I have to cut on this side, except for the this thing. Suppose I could do this with a bandsaw, but I don't think it's worth taking it to the workshop. I should probably mention, in case anyone, anyone else is doing this, following this video, make sure you don't touch across two of the plates. So if my screwdriver touches this plate to that plate, it will short circuit it. It'll, if you just do it real quick, it'll just make a spark and you go, ah, and everything will be fine. But, you know, if it was connected for a few seconds, it could actually melt some stuff. Alright, just as I suspected, a half plate here, a bunch of solids, and another half at the end. Alright, that should show up well enough. Alright, before I go cutting this, let me make sure I've got two cells here, two cells there, two there, two there, two there, two there, two there, two there. there. Alright, I cut right there, it's right down the half. Lucky and I can do it with this. This should be my 26-ish volts, 26.1, yeah, I can use that as 24 volts. <clears throat> this guy should be my 12-ish volts, like 13 or whatever, 13.0, great. things on there. Yeah, I don't really need this. Alright. I've got my negative connections here. Two of them. In case I want to use a lot of power. And then my positive connection over here, which is the original one. And I should be able to use this thing ah, just like a lead acid battery. Pretty much. Just have to be more careful about the charging voltages and stuff. There, 24 volt pack, 12 volt pack.